Hi pal one, welcome to your reading. So this will be what is your next book? Let's see. What is Pile One's glow up? Their next glow up? How will they glow up? Ace of Swords. A level up, some sort of level up. You'll be leveling up. Your mindset has changed. How you view things, how you see things, how you talk, all that is leveling up. Who you talk to is leveling up. So you'll be engaging with people who are on a higher frequency and are doing very well in their career and their life overall. It's just you have better people around you that you're interacting with, talking to on a daily basis. Is what I see here. People you can learn from, people who you trust, people who are helping you on your journey with the star yeah we got the strength that wanted to pop out as well so your next glow up or your glow up is being around people who help you not discourage you and sabotage what you got going on they're helping you and encouraging you and motivating you and just very nice people because you're being more nice to yourself mentally and all that how you talk to yourself how you see yourself has changed that's your glow up so far from what i can see you're part of, you're putting more energy and involvement towards yourself <clears throat> if that makes sense so an example is you're not really going to be more involved in somebody else's life than your own. You're going to be more involved in putting in a lot of effort into your own life, not others. So you'll still have friends around, of course, because that's what I'm getting. Friends and people that are good for you, better for you. Um, but you're going to be, even though you're, you have them around, you're still gonna just be putting, if that makes sense. I don't feel like I have to explain further. You're just gonna be putting more into your own life. And these will be people that understand that though because they'll be doing it in their life as well. So if you make, if that makes sense, like it's gonna be people who understand what you're doing. You don't always have to give to them. You don't always have to help them. You don't always have to check in with them because they're, they got it themselves. They're independent, self-made, successful people just like you are. So it's like they understand that you're not always going to, you don't need to be around for them because they're not bums. They don't need a handout. They don't need you to pour into them. They don't need you to give your all into them instead of yourself because they already are doing that for themselves is what I see. Very beautiful healthy connections. We got the emperor. You'll be surrounded by like-minded people. Yeah. Yeah, equal give and take. Healthy give and take. People who are actually have common sense. Like, people who... You don't need to drag along, like. Because you're putting yourself in a, you are, you're in a better circumstance. You're in a very healthy circumstance. So it's like, you surround yourself with healthy, good people, like-minded people. 
possibly people that are in the um public eye like they do things in the public eye they have um a name for themselves they're not trying to build off of you they're not trying to they don't need your help because they already have a name for themselves they already have stuff going for themselves as well as you so that's your glow up that's what's going on with you right now as for like people that do need i don't know who this but they need to pay you if they need help start a class like for people who need help but as far as having the help as your 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 circle no it's giving charity it's giving the help you won't yeah your glow up is knowing your worth knowing where you stand you stand over here with the people that get it the people that don't get it are over here type of energy yeah ace of pentacles you're making more money way more money than you used to make is your glow making more money <clears throat> making lots of money too much money making so much money so much money you just have money falling out your purse like and you you don't even know that it's missing because you have so much money Ace of Cups. Oh my God. Wow. Right under the star. So honestly, a lot of you guys, your glow um, is just being in the limelight, being in the spotlight, being in the public eye, doing something where you're being creative, doing something where you're, you feel welcome, doing something where you feel appreciated and you're being seen and you're being um yourself you're being yourself and yeah you're not being around people who make you feel weird about it about being yourself about being seen about being you know out there you're not around people who make you feel weird about that or judged you're out there to be seen you were made to be seen with the star you were made to be you were made to be amused you were made to be a creative you are made to be a star you are made to be talented you it's your birthright three of swords somebody that is your love interest could feel heartbroken that's for some of you guys or somebody feels heartbroken because they might have misjudged you could be a father could be a brother could be a ex because this is like under the emperor is what i'm saying it could be a man like a somebody with a beard even but i feel like they don't have to have a beard they just have this aries energy could be an aries but somebody like try to judge a book by its cover or try to put you in a box i feel or they tried to judge you too soon and I just feel like somebody's going to get their lick back or somebody's going to be gags, like have nothing to say, be surprised, be... But with the Three of Swords, I feel like maybe they... I don't know. Somebody feels em like embarrassed or or will feel embarrassed or they do feel embarrassed because they they judge you too soon and too harshly. Or they had like some hurtful words or that were not true. Like they were completely wrong and they're watching you or they're trying to stay away from you or you're staying away from them. So they have no, yeah, the nine of, um, but your glow up is basically 
staying with people like that because they're getting in your way, they're wasting your time, and they're completely wrong about you. Like, nothing they're saying is true at all. So they're just being weird at that point because it's like, who are you talking to? Because you're not talking about me because I don't even sound like me, sir, or a woman. Like, that does not sound like me. I don't know what weird thing you got going on that you think you know me at all is weird this could even be like a fan or i don't know it's like even f i feel like you have people that feel like they know you you know those people that feel like they know this no celebrities what celebrities got going on they'd be in the comments like just putting their whole time and effort into the comments saying something negative and it's like you don't even know these people and you're completely wrong They're just conspiracy theories at this point, and they're just, it's just gossip. Like, you're weird. Like, I don't know. It's like I'm getting that from whoever this Three of Swords energy is. And I feel like you, your glow up is just knowing when people are like sick and mental. So you're just, I don't know. I see you glowing, I see you getting a lot of attention this year i see you prospering i see you very blessed this year i see you at your full potential this year your full freaking potential with whatever you do and i see you smiling a lot this year i see you in love this year i see you being loved because somebody loves you at your, somebody loves you for the person you knew you were and other people were telling you something different. Like, like I said before, like people were trying to thought they knew you or thought they knew your business or thought they knew the type of person you were. And I feel like you're in, your, not your glow up is like being in love with someone who can see you for your highest being, your highest self. Who you told yourself you were. So yeah, I see you having some psychic attacks, but I see you gracefully protecting yourself. And I see you sending it back to the sin. I see you sending it back to the sender. And gracefully moving on untouched. Not a scratch, not a mark on you. Like, you can't even get near me type of vibes. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what I have for you for your glow up. That was pretty intense. Um, but if it did help and it sound like a situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next post. How about to welcome to your reading. So, this will be, what is your next glow up? So let's see. What is Pile 2's next glow up? Or what is it glow up right now? How are they glowing up? How is Pile 2 glow up? Ooh, yeah. The first thought in my mind was like something to do with business. A business, business, your business is booming. Like business is great. Business is booming. Business is business. You also could be an earth sign and have earth placements towards Capricorn Virgo. of wands. Somebody's chasing you. You have a lot of options in love because you're loving on yourself. You're no longer chasing. You're staying put. You're in this queen of pentacles energy. She's sitting down. 
She's not chasing anybody but that bag. <laughs> judgment. And you're quick, to, you're quick to place judgment on people. Yeah. You might even be treating everything like a business. Like, because you're just so on point with everything. Like, I, you're on point with everything. Super, super on point. Trust your intuition. Always trust your intuition. Even if others are telling you that you're wrong. And they're, like, just going, like, so strong about it. But you already know that you're on point. You're the queen of pentacles. So... Yeah, I feel like you're not falling for gaslighters. You're not falling for none of that. Like, you don't even... You turn your head to the bullshit. She's not even facing this Knight of Wands. And this Knight of Wands is going so hard. For what? Queen of Pentacles doesn't have to go hard like that. She doesn't have to prove herself. She's choosing peace. Like, I feel like this is like you just choosing peace of mind over everything. Because if you don't have peace of mind, what do you have? The moon. Three of swords. You don't have time for another heartbreak. You don't have time for another misunderstanding you don't have time for the bs with the three of swords you don't have time to go against your intuition anymore any longer because every time you go against your intuition this happens every time it's like you tell yourself what you already know and then somebody tells you like no nah, it's not even like that like i didn't mean it like that i didn't say it like that i'm not that type of person da, 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 but you already told yourself, and then if you go against that, the three of swords happens. Like you, and then after it happens, you're like, "I told myself," or, you know, moon energy. That's your intuition, love. That's that feeling you get. That's that. Those dreams you get, that's that that eerie feeling you get, that's that, you know, something telling you to go the other way instead of taking the highway this time. Or go this way instead of taking your normal route. Go this way, get this today instead of doing that. Or when you're trying to leave, you lose something so you stay a little longer at home. Like, stuff like that. Or that person is like... You know, so I see that it's like something that you've mastered, like just it's too many. What does Pal Two go up? What are they? What's their go up? Mastering, like, talking to yourself internally. That's what I was talking about. You're mastering, like, talking to yourself. And answering your own questions. You don't need nobody to confirm nothing. I knew she was going to come out. Damn, King of Wands. First the Queen of Wands came out and then she didn't come all the way out and then the King of Wands came out, so. Go with your instincts. Judgment. Go 
call it quits if you know it's not right. That's what you're doing. You're doing perfect. You're doing really well financially. Even when you do this in a financial, if this is about financial and it's not about relationships or anything, it's doing you really well. You don't have time to waste is what you're on this year. And it's getting you to where you need to be, where you want to be. That's your glow up, getting, being exactly where you want to be in life. You're exactly where you want to be in life. Look at this Knight of Wands right on her back. fake tears i'm hearing like crocodile tears somebody is fake emotional and you spot that you spot that shit <laughs> yeah you're on point every time. You're on point with everything, pal two. Sun. Oh my god. That's crazy. The sun and the moon. Yeah. You're having awareness on your intuition now. You're having awareness on everybody's shadow side. That's saving you this year and that's putting you where you want to be and where you need to be this year with the queen of pentacles you're standing on business with everybody everybody can get it i don't care if you're a family member i'm standing on business with the judgment i'm calling judgment on your ass i don't have time to play i don't have energy to give i'm putting it all into my money i'm putting it all into the life my dream reality i'm doing all that i don't have no funds to spare i don't have no like extra nothing you can't hold nothing you can't get nothing no i can't do that i can't do favors i'm not doing favors only favors i'm doing is for myself yeah you're like stingy this year i heard stingy with the cootie cat <laughs> you're stingy this year leo energy twice double leo sun and strength. You have the strength to stand on your own. So if you have the strength to stand on your own two feet, everybody else has the strength to stand on their own two feet. Okay? If you could do it, he, she, they could do it. There's no excuses. Don't run those excuses by me. You're just chatting at this point. And my phone, click. Get off my phone. You're chatting. Nonsense. You're blowing steam. Get, click. Or you send them right to voicemail. They get to talk to that lady. You send them right to that lady. Some of you guys might change your number or you guys might, or I'm seeing either you change your number or you're going to get two phones. One for business, one for whatever I want to do. Hi, priestess. You can see through this king of wands star. Yeah. 
It's like seeing through a wall. You already know everybody's intent. You could do that. You could do this in your sleep, how to. Just always trust your intuition now. And a lot of you guys have already mastered that. And you guys see where it's getting you. Rather than when you go against your intuition or when somebody tells you not to follow your intuition. The, the world is yours. The world is your oyster. Like, the world revolves around you when you do that. You'll see how the universe puts shit right in your lap. Big blessings, big money. All you have to do is trust yourself. So that's what I have for you. If it did help and it did sound like your situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hi, Pod 3. Welcome to your reading. So this will be, what is your next glow up? Pile three is next below, please. Some of you guys could be a Pisces or a Libra. Or have Libra or Pisces in your chart. Don't have to be. What wants to come through for Pile three is glow up? What's Pile three is glow up? What's Pile three is glow up? Please bear any messages for what's their goal. Ace of Cups <laughs> for the first card. So, okay. <clears throat> self respect, self love, respect for yourself. Making conscious decisions that are lovely towards yourself and respectful for towards yourself. This is what I'm seeing from the Ace of Cups. What else? Internal love. Internal and external love. So taking care of your body, taking your vitamins, drinking your water, doing your skincare routine, doing your hair, making sure your hair is healthy, your teeth are healthy, your nails are healthy, stuff like that. Like Taking care of your heart, literally. King of Cups. What's this? King of Cups. That's crazy. Both of them, oh my gosh. Ten of cups. That's a lot of water energy. A lot of cups. Ten of cups. Ace of cups. King of cups. So yeah. Your glow up is taking care of your heart. Like literally your physical heart. Like your health. So whether that be taking vitamins. Drinking teas. Um, doing cleanses. And stuff like that. Um, weekly, monthly. Drinking your juices stuff like that um i see that for you just having a very healthy intake when it comes to food and liquids and everything literally everything to take care of your heart take more better care of your heart and also i see you taking better care of your heart when it comes to romance because we do have two kings here so that also is, your glow up is taking care of your heart and protecting your heart and giving your love to who you feel is worthy of your heart and that's pretty much what i see from this king of pentacles king of cups like i really feel like you have this energy in you right now or just what's inside of you glowing up um is just picking partners who are very healing and loving because king of cups and king of pentacles are the most loving and most nurturing of the kings um king of swords is detached he doesn't really need that much affection or attention he likes his alone time um and the king of wands he's always on the go traveling possibly or just he's single that's the single cards the um king of wands and the king of 
I mean queen, excuse me, the queen of wands is usually um, the single court and card. So I feel like for these to pop up, right, when I say that you're gonna, you're taking care of your heart, better care of your heart. Um, I feel like you're also monitoring and making conscious decisions of how you react emotionally to certain things in your love life and just things that trigger you so if something comes up that triggers you or you feel uncomfortable or you feel like you need to speak up or when you feel like you don't need to speak up and just simply cut somebody off without having to explain any further you're doing so so you're actually um putting more awareness to your reactions to uh, in your love life it could also be in your business life too like your workplace life too so if something you immediately block someone or you won't entertain someone or you don't feel the need to prove yourself or explain yourself if you guys aren't in alignment you simply aren't in alignment and that's fine that's just not your pertinent person um but you are attracting more kings of pentacles and kings of cups naturally because of all the self-love that you're giving to yourself and all the, how like how well you're taking care of yourself is naturally just attracting kings of cups and kings of pentacles so kings of swords and <clears throat> king of wands don't really entertain you they will they will still entertain you duh but they don't really they're not as attracted to you they still will be attracted to you but i feel like you're just gonna be more you're gonna have the door open for king of cups and king of pentacles and you're not gonna have the door open for king of swords king of wands anymore or just when you want to play so i guess sexually maybe you'll have fun with those types of kings but i feel like for the most part you're just taking the time and the effort into your physical health your physical beauty and your love life and how you react to certain things uh, certain things well a lot of things don't deserve your reaction pile three and you're realizing that a lot of things don't deserve your reaction I just saw the Ace of Pentacles. Power. Nine of Pentacles. I see marriage. I'm not going to lie. I know this is like your glow up, but I just can't help what wants to come out. Four of Cups, a lot of love, like a lot of cups. This is about your emotions, but it's also about saying no. Saying, okay, this is enough. <clears throat> this is enough right now, stuff like that. Yeah, saying no or saying this is enough or no thank you. This is not quite what I want. With that four of cups. Five of swords. What is that about? The sun energy. People are always going to try to manipulate you, Pound Three, and you're realizing that. Okay. Seven of Cups. Worlds. So you, your next glow up or your glow up now, doesn't matter. Your glow up is receiving and having a bunch of different options. A bunch of different options, especially with the world and the Seven of Cups. But I just see you choosing good options. The best, like the the best options for you. 
what makes sense what's gonna love you back what's gonna you know hmm you're not in dynamics anymore where you're loving a man more or liking a man more because if you're ever in a dynamic they're only going to manipulate you and take you for granted you're in connections now where the man loves you more and the man likes you more only because you love you more and you like you more and you're going to choose you first before anybody so yeah yeah Try not to breadcrumb them too much, though. Because um, you don't want, like, past experiences in love to now make you that person that acts like you don't want them. You know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say? Or makes them chase you too much to the point where they're just getting tired of it and they feel like they wasted their time with you. I mean, a lot of you guys get if you. You get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, so like you're just, I see you choosing men that really love you and really like you so much. Like I'm talking about too, oh my God, I almost said, I almost said too much. They like you too much. Be careful of those energies too, because I am seeing that. But honestly, I see you liking this though. Your next glow up, I see you really like enjoying this though because i feel like you were in certain dynamics that they were acting like they didn't really f with you but these can't like i'm saying the devil came out so like i'm seeing this as like them being obsessed with you <laughs> and really good and bad like grown grown sex like that's what i see <laughs> but there also could be changes in your body devil i feel like i see changes in your body yeah yeah oh my god sometimes i said that i look down the queen of wands yeah so your glow up is changes in your body whether it's your hips your hip spread your you know your breasts get see some of your breasts getting bigger or more fluffy your legs get i don't know like i just see your body changing like you could be getting older um older in age where you're getting like your grown woman body or the your own specific grown woman body so not like you don't have to be super super thick but it's like your your hips are spreading your you're taking care of your body. Like I said, you're taking care of your body. The vitamins are making your skin glow. The vitamins could even make your, like, breast more, I don't know, perky. Something you're doing, taking, drinking, the juices that you're drinking are making your body just look really, really good, really, really nice. And you could be working out. So, yeah, your glow up is definitely um, major physical changes to your looks. Your hair is longer or more healthier. I'm seeing somebody with really this. I see somebody like taking care of their hair and it just looks really good. And these kings love it. This king of cups and this king of pentacles, they love it. Okay, let's see. Temperance. Yes, yeah, that's, that's physical changes for sure. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. I saw her earlier with the um, Ace of Swords at the top of the deck. Okay, so. I see you also focusing on your money, focusing on. Um, your money, yeah. I feel like you're gonna have a new idea for money as well with the Ace of Swords we saw, and this flipped out, yeah. 
that your next glow up or your glow up now is or whenever you need to because this reading is timeless you have a new idea that's going to take off and work out for you when it comes to money maybe several i'm seeing some of you guys several ideas and it's going to go very very well very 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 well look at that that's not a that's the nine of pentacles somebody might even help you one of your love interests i see they don't even have to be our sign they just i see somebody since this comes out right underneath him i'm seeing that as like you might have multiple people people helping you in love because they like i said they really really love you like you adore you worship you take care of you nurture you pour into you they actually care so yeah supporting you i see their support okay let's see but yeah it's gonna go very well for you just saw the three of swords tower of course you're gonna have your bad days pile three but that doesn't mean you have a bad life y'all yeah, you're going to be focusing on your money. Hermit is like going back, stepping away from the scene for a little minute to focus on your bag, to focus on your idea, to focus on this new money endeavor. But I see, may, for some of you guys, more than one. Tower. Damn, with the moon. Yeah, you're going to feel discouraged you're gonna have days where it doesn't work out or it seems like you're not getting anywhere where you feel like you're exhausted you feel like you want to break down or maybe even scream or sleep you want to sleep in or maybe you'll have sleepless nights or you feel like you're driving yourself crazy but like i said you're gonna have support um from your love interest but also you're going to be put pouring so much love into yourself you're going to realize that it's just a bad couple of days maybe or a bad maybe even a bad week maybe even a bad month but it's not a bad year it's not a bad life and it's not a bad like it's just sometimes sometimes the pendulum swings the other way um it can't always be good times the pendulum doesn't swing in the good direction and stay there or things wouldn't be balanced right so high priestess but Just see through that shit. You have the ability. You have the ability to see through bad times. You have the ability to see through that shit. So see through it. See through it, power three. That's your love. Seeing through the the smoky mirror. Seeing through the bad days, the bad times. Seeing through it because you have faith because you at the end of the day good or bad times you're still this nine of pentacles you're still the queen of wands you're still the queen of pentacles you're still the queen of you're still the queen of pentacles you're still the queen of wands even on rainy days so you should still be laughing you should still be celebrating you should still be kind to yourself you should still move forward you should still have things to be happy about grateful about you have things to cherish still. Okay. Let me get one more for your glow up and then we'll close it. Okay. You're still here and that's enough to be happy about. Yep. <laughs> it takes work to be the empress. Self work as well to be the interest. You have to fail sometimes. Too many. Let me get one more. 
what is that ace of wands yeah have the courage have the confidence have the faith have the things to pull you through pull yourself through Look in the mirror when you're sad. Look at who you are. Look at how, look at old pictures of yourself. Look at old videos of yourself. See how far you've come. Compare it to where you are now. Look at old videos. Look at old pictures. Look in the mirror. Take a long shower. Take a bath. Admire your body. Admire your efforts. Admire your, your craft. Admire what you're doing right now. Just take the time to breathe and calm yourself. Center yourself. Spend time with those that want to spend time with you. Love on people who want to love on you. So, yeah, that's what I have for you for your globe. If it did help, if it did sound like your situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next post.